What's up guys, He King here, bringing you a live reaction to the Resident Evil Showcase that we are about to get, and it's going to start in about 25 seconds. So yeah, we're finally going to get some uh, gameplay on Resident Evil 8, and hopefully some other news on other Resident Evil games. It's only supposed to be 20 minutes long, right? So let's see what they're going to reveal. No spoilers, of course, guys. Uh, my last video got copyright striked because of that, so... Ooh, that got intense. Oh, straight away with the trailer, yeah? Okay. Oh, that was... Is that zombies? Do we, do we have zombies in this game? Thank you so much for joining us today, and welcome mm -hmm. to our Resident Evil Showcase. I'm your host, Brittany Brombacher, here to give you a closer look into what Capcom has coming up for the Resident Evil franchise. We'll be kicking things off with some brand new content and an exclusive first look at Resident Evil Village Ooh, gameplay. Who's the, who's the fat chick? This. So, without further ado, let's get started. We got fat people, Pete, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> World premiere. Oh, this is exciting. I need to get a better chair because this one sucks. Oh. Positively, all right? Positively, okay. We talked about this. I know. It's me. We hardly talk about anything else. I ho I'm hoping we get Revelations free review, but. No. Castle Bill, Herald's Danger, like uh, Silent Hills. Mother Miranda. Regret to inform you that Ethan Winters oh. has escaped that fool Heisenberg. Because Shh. he is in my castle and has already proven too much for my daughters to handle. When oh. they find him. No, Mother Miranda. What? Yes, of course. I understand the importance of the ceremony. I won't let you down. But she's supposed to be what? I feel like an idiot. What? She's she's what? And they're they're, they're her daughters. What the hell is going on here? No, the place is full of nothing but blood and death. I love the visuals and the look of this. It's so cool. Are we gonna fight scarecrows? <laughs> we got torture devices. No oh, zombies. It's zombies, right? Oh, they got swords and shit. That bitch is tall, yo. Is that demons flying? No, oh, that's Chris, the baby. Well, well, Ethan Winters. There you Ooh. are. <laughs> That was it? So that's... I'm so confused. That doesn't make sense. Did they change things? Like, before the... Who the fuck are you? Let's see what you're really made of. Ethan Winters. <laughs> oh, he's the werewolf dude, because he's got the hammer. Yeah, he's the werewolf dude. Because in the trailer we see a giant werewolf with a hammer. That's him. But I still have so many questions. Like, when can I pre-order this thing? Perhaps producer Pete Fabiano has some answers for us. Let's see what he has to say. Hey everyone, I'm Pete Fabiano, producer on Resident Evil Village. When we yeah. first announced Resident Evil Village back in June, we only mentioned PlayStation 5, Xbox PS4, Series PS4, and PC. I'm happy to announce yes. that we've been working hard to bring a yes. Another slap. Yes. <laughs> Resident Evil Village. Yes, oh my hands hurt. PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, day and day with next gen. That hurts. Can be upgraded for free Loki's looking at me all. The digital PS5 version and the Xbox One version gives release date, release date. To the game on Xbox Series X. May 7th. 
It's also my May 7th, 2021. Exactly when you can get your hands on the game. Resident I'm pre-ordering it. I'm pre-ordering it. Worldwide. <laughs> there we go. 7th, 2021. With pre-orders kicking no. off today. Go away. Alongside the standard edition, we have a few other options for the game. First, we have the digital deluxe edition, available on all platforms. Collector's edition. Able to heighten their survival horror I want that. With extra content, the steelbook. In-game items that call back to Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. There's also a collector's edition for consoles. I want that. All the deluxe edition content, as well as a striking figure of Chris Redfield. A steelbook case, poster, and art. There's a bundle. And for those of you who haven't played the previous entry, we have the Resident Evil Village and Resident Evil 7 Biohazard bundle. This lets you get your hands. I'm so happy. While you wait for Resident Evil Village, pre-order any of these editions, and you'll be able to get your hands on both the Mr. Raccoon weapon accessory and their survival resource pack, which will offer additional support during the first few hours of gameplay. I just want the steelbook, man. Give me something with the steelbook. That's all I care about. PlayStation Store will receive an exclusive Resident Evil gameplay. Mini soundtrack. Hold on. Stop it here. I've been waiting for this. I know you've been waiting for okay. this. Okay. All right. First look at the Resident Evil Village uh, gameplay. World premiere. Okay. Now we're here to give you an exclusive first look at Resident Evil Village gameplay. Okay. Cool. I'm liking it. Just like in Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, you'll be taking control of Ethan and Chris Redfield. <laughs> you'll make your way from the village to the castle. It's it's the same guy. Players will need to get in. So the guy who's directing this game wrote Resident Evil 7, so... Which I love. Brilliant choice. It does. It does draw you in. I wanna cry, man. Like, I'm so happy it's coming for PS4. Like, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> You'll see a lot of those little details come to life here. The team put a ton of effort into creating a truly authentic feel. It does remind me a bit of Resident Evil 4, but it looks better. It looks a lot better. I wasn't a big fan of the castle in Resident Evil 4. Like, it was just too much open space. That makes sense. I prefer more areas like this. Okay, we... Now it's time to meet some of the castle denizens. As you'd expect, a warm welcome's not really So there's three of them. Oh. Oh shit. Man. Man blood. Okay, creepy, but Oh, oh, oh. So who is this? So this is not Miranda? Now, let's take a look at him. She is tall. Brother? Let's see how special you are. I'm starting to think a lot of the shifting gears a bit. We're finally gonna show off some combat. I'm starting to think a lot of the spoilers that we got were early elements of the game that have now been scrapped because this is completely different. It's not just about shooting. Guarding will also be Oh that's cool, you can disarm well yeah, you could disarm in, in the other games as well, but Go! Oh! You can push! Nice! Each type of enemy has their yeah! Own he's got the hammer! Okay. That, that's a bit bigger. That's a bit bigger than the other guy had. Okay. It might not be him. Everyone knows what to do with red barrels, right? Some of you will remember a similar match. Ori for yeah. This time around, we've had oh. practice. Which allows you to create items such as first aid. Did we have crafting in the sniper rifle? There's also an assortment of weapons to find and utilize. I love my love my sniper rifle. Thank you very much. The merchant. I've been waiting for you. Oh god, the merchant's a fat dude. How do you know my name? Anyone who's anyone has heard of the life. I bet we're gonna fight him. The merchant makes a return. This time he's known as the Duke. The Duke. Okay. You'll be going to him to buy and sell weapons, amongst other things. 
The director wanted to give him a unique look, and you'll often find him in different situations each time you encounter him. He looks very different from the one that we got revealed in the first trailer. Did they redesign him, or...? Smash away with your trusty knife. There's plenty of items to find in your cup. Here, yeah, what? And we've also got extra objectives out there. Oh, cool! So, are those the new rocket? Uh... Of course, it goes without saying that there'll be plenty of puzzles to solve. Please let there be plenty of puzzles because already three disappointed me. Oh, cool, death traps. Plenty of surprises to keep you on your toes. Oh, what the hell? That's like some mummy shit, man. With the scarabs coming out of the skin. I haven't cut open a man in a while. Bitches are crazy. Let me Holy shit. And just walk. Well, that's one way to end the video. Is that it? Now that we've shown you what's in store for Resident Evil Village. Let's take a look at the exclusive. Oh, those bastards are getting a demo and we're not getting anything. Well, at least we're getting the game on uh, Maiden. At least we're getting the game, do you know what I mean? On Escape the Dungeon. So this is like Resident Evil 7's demo, where you played like a... For this demo, players won't be playing as Ethan, but as a character we're referring to as the Maiden. I'm hoping we get this, because... Unlike the actual game, this experience doesn't feature combat or even... It's basically Resident Evil 7's demo, where you play like the cameraman. Um, Clancy and you have to escape. Maiden. That's cool. That's unique. I'm hoping we get that. Maybe when you complete it, you unlock like a little... We're hoping to have players get a real feel for the visuals and audio as they take the Maiden on her journey to find a way out of the game. And you can download the exclusive demo on PlayStation 5 today. Of course, we want as many people as possible to yeah. have a chance so we'll have a separate new demo available on all platforms ready for sometime this spring. Thank you. This year marks the 25th anniversary of the Evil franchise. With the very first game released in Japan back on March 22nd, Revelations free. Revelations free. Revelations free. The series has expanded well beyond the realm of video games. Infinite Darkness. CG movies to Resident Evil movie reboot. Resident yeah. Evil has become a cultural icon. Resident Evil continues to offer surprises around every corner, so let's pass it along to producer Yoshi Kanda to hear more about what you okay. can expect in 2020. Okay. Earlier this month, Oh, this this is for the uh, multiplayer, right? The test won't happen until later next week. But I I don't play multiplayer, so details. With the 25th anniversary of Resident Evil coming on March 22nd, we are excited to celebrate I don't care. with the fans. Last September, we showed off a piece of key art showcasing some of Resident Evil's iconic. Yeah, the 25th celebration with the characters. Now, I'm happy to Multiplayer, come on. Behind that. Let's take a look. World premiere. Oh, my. Oh, crap. Hold on. My battery was running out. My thing wasn't in there. Oh. Resident Evil Reverse. So versus mode. Oh, the hell! Oh, you get to play a nemesis. Okay, Hank. Oh, there's Jack. There's the tyrant. That's pretty cool, actually. But our reverse is. One of the ways we are celebrating the 25th anniversary of the franchise, showcasing so many of the characters that fans love. It'll be available for free to anyone. Oh who God, it's part of Resident Evil Village. So be sure to follow the Resident Evil social channels for the latest news. And check out the official. Website. I'm not happy about that. I don't care about that. Is that it? It's finished. World premiere. What? 
behalf of Massive Entertainment and Ubisoft, congratulations to the Resident Evil team on their 25th anniversary. We can't wait to get our hands on our reverse. For the occasion, we are bringing the celebration to oh. Tom Clancy's The Division 2. For a limited time, you will be able to collect some of the iconic outfits and items from the original Resident Evil trilogy. Everyone that logs in during the event will get Leon Kennedy's Raccoon Police Department outfit as a warm-up. I don't care about this. Why do they always go with this uh, multiplayer shit? Like, the majority of the fan base doesn't care about the multiplayer stuff. They don't. They really don't. You'd be surprised when you go online how many people rip on it. It's like one of the most pointless additions. People want a good single player campaign. And instead they're wasting their energy on shit like this. Like, what is the point? Infinite Darkness. Okay. Give me, give me something new on this. I'm Capcom's Resident Evil animation producer, Hiroku Kobayashi. That's such a cool name, Kobayashi. Let's talk about Re the 3D CG anime, will I? I'm hoping more characters appear in this. The story focuses on series favorites Claire and Leon. Set a few years after RE4, we find Leon looking sharp in a suit getting caught up. Set after RE4? Not after RE6 or 8 or 7, RE4. The film? It's a film? I thought it was a series. He said it's a film. Wow, a lot's been happening and I hope you enjoyed watching. But if you missed anything along the way, don't worry. Keep an eye on the Resident Evil social channels and official website, which will be sharing everything from today's show. As a quick reminder, Resident Evil Village is available for pre-order starting today for the PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, Xbox Series X, Xbox One, and Steam for PC. And don't forget, PlayStation 5 owners get a sneak peek through downloadable content available worldwide starting today. It has been an absolute honor to celebrate the amazing Resident Evil leading up to its 25th anniversary with all of you across the globe. I'm your host, Brittany Brombacher, and thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Pre-order today. Well, that's what I'm gonna do. If game has it, or shop to, or what other places can we pre-order from? Is it still playing? Is it still over? Is that it? It's still playing. I mean, creepy music in the background, but okay. Alright, while it does that, uh, what did I think of the showcase? Okay, first of all, I don't want to talk about spoilers or anything. Like, I, I, I honestly thought we would get like revelations, uh, revelations free tees. We didn't. That's 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 disappointing because it's supposed to come out this year as well. So it's a bit weird that this is coming out. I'm I'm thinking the release dates have changed now. So we're not we're not gonna get that this year. I'm thinking ne early next year. That'll be the game we'll get early next year, and we'll get Ori Four remake in 2023 instead. So yeah, I think I think that's what's happened. They're gonna focus on this completely, which is fair enough. But okay, first of all, it's gonna be on PS4, current gen consoles. Brilliant, awesome. Uh, PS5 uh, players uh, get to have a demo. Brilliant, well done. Congrats on that. Uh, I'll be looking forward to seeing the gameplay for that. That'll be cool to see. Um, the game looks cool. It looks good. Get, like they've added a kick button and that. I guess that's similar to what they did with Chris. I think there wasn't a guard. Uh, you could guard, but you couldn't like push away in that. With Chris you could only punch so that's obviously an update. I did uh, I didn't want to say the guy I think who wrote RE7 is directing this game. He wrote he wrote and directed this one I think. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, Resident Evil 7. Uh, I put in Resident Evil 7 I get Resident Evil Village. Okay come on. Um, the writer um, uh, Morimasa Saito and Richard Percy and then, uh, and the director is, yeah, Mori, M Mori Master Saito, and the writer, does it say the writer? It doesn't say the writer. I'm assuming the writer is the same. But the uh, point is, these are his characters. These are his characters that he's continuing with. So it kind of makes sense now why Ethan 
came back, why Mia's back, and why they're continuing that plot thread. It's it's the guy who wrote RE7 that's now working on RE8. So yeah, that makes sense. Which I'm fine with, obviously. Uh, as for spoilers, I'm not going to go into them. I already got a copyright strike and shit on that, so I'm not going to go into it. That was my bad. Maybe it's because I posted all the pictures and that. I don't know. I don't know if it was talking about the spoilers themselves or the pictures. But the one thing I can say is I'm very, very, very confused. It it. I'm thinking there have been some changes, uh, not from the time that uh, the leaks came out, but from what, uh, those leaks were obviously uh, stuff that they worked on a few years back. Maybe it was stuff from a year ago or two years ago, whatever, a few months ago, whatever. But it seems there have been changes because um, that whole part, the, that whole part in the trailer with uh, Mother Miranda, you know, the assumption I went into this is from you know from what I saw, the tall lady is Mother Miranda. That doesn't seem to be the case now, which is very confusing, which means this is a completely different character, which means the quick question now, the quick question now is who's Mother Miranda? And this woman's got daughters, three of them, and she's got a brother who's the dude with the axe, I'm assuming, uh, the hammer. I'm assuming he's the giant werewolf with the bigger hammer. I don't know, but I mean, it's a bit, it's a bit weird, isn't it? You, 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 you meet a guy with a hammer and then later on you meet, you fight a giant werewolf monster with a bigger hammer. Like, I'm thinking that's the same thing. Um, I'm getting Bloodborne vibes from this game as well. Like, like I'm looking at all these character designs and that, and the only thing that's going through my mind is these characters are going to mutate or change the monsters. They're going to be forced to fight them. So that's that's what I'm thinking. Like, like even the Duke guy specifically, I'm thinking he's going to be like an enemy you fight at the very end of the game. Maybe like after you've done all your upgrading shit, there's going to be a nice big surprise, and it's like Bleh! like he explodes or dies or whatever, like giant tentacles or mouth bursting out the stomach. I don't know. Um, I'm I'm very interested because it means what it means is is that um, despite the spoiler leaks, there's a lot of stuff that we still don't know actually, and I'm happy about that because it means that there's still some surprises left in this game, and I want to be surprised. Like I'm very happy about that. So I'm gonna say this: I don't want to be spoiled anymore. Okay, I don't want to read up on spoilers on this game anymore. You know, if there's anyone who's watching this and they're like, don't don't give me any spoilers for this game anymore. I don't want to know, okay? If you have any info on Revelations 3 or RE4 Remake, I'm more than happy about knowing about that. But for Resident Evil Village, don't bother me anymore, okay? I want to be, I want to be surprised. P plus, my curiosity got me in trouble last time. So, I'm going to wait till March that strike even goes down. So, I don't, I don't know even what's going to happen when I upload this. I'm hoping nothing. Like, um... But I, I love it. I, I love what I'm seeing here. The gameplay looks excellent. The visuals look bloody excellent. The authentic, the 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 uh, authenticism was that what you call it? The ambience. It looks perfect. Uh, the character designs look freaking great. The story looks very interesting. I'm curious how this ties in with the whole umbrella aspect because we know in the first trailer you had the umbrella symbol. So I'm wondering what's going on there. Uh, the Duke guy obviously has been changed from the character design that we saw in the first trailer. It looks it looks different. I think. Um, because that dude looked a bit more thinner, didn't he? This dude is like massively big, so there was obviously some changes. Like, and it, it makes me wonder how much of this they have changed from initial development. Like, like wh wh whatever I thought I knew now is like it it's irrelevant. Like, there's there's obviously been updates made to this game, and there's always updates being made. You know, but when it comes to Resident Evil, there's always changes being made with these games. Do you know what I mean? Like, so nothing's ever going to be the same all the time. But, like I said, I'm loving what I'm seeing and I can't wait to play this. Uh, I'm going to probably be going online right now to see if I can uh, pre-order this bad boy. But yeah, happy about this. I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to this. And, as always, like and subscribe. Fingers crossed nothing bad happens when I post this online. Like, I'm technically speaking, there were no spoilers here. Whatever I said was, was stuff that's irrelevant now. It's not important, so forget about that. Uh, yeah. Resident Evil 8 looks awesome. Can't wait to play it. And it was, what was the release date? May 7th, was it? It was May 7th, right? Uh, <laughs> I need to, I need to book that week off now, don't I? Yeah, boy. <laughs> Cheers, guys, and take care, and bye.